Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique and today I have a very special blue box unboxing. It comes in this beautiful blue bag which are really really <laughs> crumpled up. Uh, my friend uh, from New York came to visit me during Thanksgiving. She was kind enough to purchase these items for me. And there are two items in this box, in, in this bag, and one of them are undone because, you know, I just couldn't wait. But if you watch this video till the end, I will insert a clip where she taught me how to do the Tiffany bow which I was very excited to learn about and yeah so don't forget to watch this video all the way to the end and don't forget to click subscribe if you are not a subscriber already and if you are a subscriber please um, click like comment down below don't forget to click on the notification bell uh, so the door is open because I'm using you know daylight so you might hear some birds or something in the back from my garden pardon uh, sorry for that and so this is the bag let's open first item uh, this is the receipt which I'm not going to show you because it has uh, some info and yeah so this is the Tiffany the beautiful Tiffany box that I would never ever ever get bored of so opens up like this she was kind enough to give me this beautiful velvet box because usually most of the time you just get the uh, pouch that's someone honking one of my neighbors so so it's this box and it's just a simple it's nothing fancy <laughs> it's just a simple um, Tiffany uh, gold chain in the size 24 inches so I love to layer my gold necklaces which I can't do because I have this bow right now which I find appropriate for this haul uh, but uh, as I mentioned I like to layer my necklaces and some of some of them are pretty much in similar length you know like 16 18 around that length and 20 I think I have 20 so I wanted something longer so this is 24 I also want 30 actually but they didn't have so I went with 24 instead so it's just a simple simple gold chain in 24 inches and which I can put any pendant if I want to I don't know if you can see this guys but there you go oh god focus <laughs> the worst at showing things eh. Okay, so that's probably focused right now. Oh my god, stop with the honking. So it's just very, very simple. It has Tiffany, I don't know if it's upside down or not, but it says Tiffany there, and then it says 750. Um, so yeah. So this is the 24 chain, which I am happy to layer with other things in the future so really really excited to have this i know it's not a very exciting piece but it's one of those necessity the thing is i love about tiffany is that their gold is always 18 karat okay guys so the next item is still beautiful packaged in this beautiful white tiffany bow and let's just open it together there you go it comes in this beautiful pouch which is very very useful when you have silver jewelry always put it in this pouch because this fabric really prevents it from uh, tarnishing there you go I got a beautiful pair of gold uh, of gold uh, hardware this is from the hardware collection so of gold earrings in 10 millimeter i think this is 10 millimeter in 10 millimeter ball so i love the hardware collection i have a pe a few pieces from there i also have the three ball kind of you know um design but in silver because it's just way too expensive in gold and this one 
is much more affordable than the one with the three balls so I decided to go ahead with it just because I feel like everything in the hardware collection is just really versatile and very New York in terms of style because it's like very simple um, but you can pair it with everything it's just so pretty what do you think guys I really really love it can you see it yeah it's just so pretty so it's something I can wear every day and you know it's like not too too flashy but it's so so sweet yeah really happy about it so yeah this will be a permanent collection that's the thing with Tiffany jewelry is that I rather really invest in something that I would wear forever than buying a lot of junk jewelry you know like this is still fashionable but it will be stylish for years to come you know if I purchase some fun jewelry from Zara which you know is fun of course but you wear it for a month and then that's it and then you end up just like keep buying it every month um, but if you invest in jewelry you can keep it forever so that's it guys what do you think about these purchases let me know in the comment section down below and also stay tuned because i will insert that clip where she taught me how to uh, tie the tiffany bow thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you on my next one bye have a great day okay hey guys i'm back home and Krista is leaving in a few hours, but I asked her to show me how to tie the Tiffany bow because she works for Tiffany. <laughs> so she'll be the expert in that and I'll be showing you that. Let's go. We'll face Tiffany and company opposite direction and I'll show you why after uh, I tie it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over on the left hand side, uh, your right side. Take this part of the ribbon, go under. So you're going to use this part of the ribbon to make your first bow. A flip. Over. Huh. Under. And you're going to pull. Then you want to make sure that this is how it looks in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always... That's the tricky part. That's what I can't do. Well, perfect. Cut. So the reason why I started that way is because when you unwrap it, then the Tiffany is facing Tiffany you. Company. Exactly. That's ah. why I do it the opposite way. I'll show you again. Yeah, one more time because I don't even know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the box facing the opposite way. Yeah. So you're going to always go on, when you're standing the opposite way of the box, you're always going to start on the left side. Left side. So you're gonna go over, mm -hmm. take this part of the ribbon, go under. Go under. Then you're gonna grab these two. Uh-huh. Oh. Hold it like this, then uh, you're gonna flip. Flip it to the left also. Right. One more time. Flip. flip. Take this part uh -huh. under. Oh, and then loop it. Then you pull. Check the back of the box. Good. Mm. This is perfect. Yay! And then you would just fluff it and then snip, snip. Snip, snip. And you cut it if it's a bit more. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. And so how long did they teach you how to do that? Well, there's videos. And when I started learning, someone would teach me. Everyone has their own way of doing it. Ah. And I just kind of figured out a way that was easier for me. And then I would just keep practicing. Oh, I thought there's like a specific and there's only one way that everyone has there to do is, it that way. There's two ways to do it. There's the Tiffany way and then there's the Tiffany, the second Tiffany way. So uh -huh. the way that I did it is the second way. Uh -huh. the, the regular way is pretty much like... But the result is the same. 
No, I'll kind of show you. I'll show you. It looks a oh. little different. This is the first way. Okay. So this is like the classic Tiffany way. The middle. You you start in the middle. You kind of you do it the same way. It's just that the oh. way that it's the direction of the Flip. ribbon. Flip. And then there. This is a good skill to have, guys. <laughs> oh, so you do one edit. So instead of the ribbons being like this, the ribbon would be like that. Ah. So. It would be like kind of like a cross. Yeah, like that, rather than like this. I ah. like to do with the ribbons like this, but the classic Tiffany way is the ribbons going diagonally. Oh, so it's the same way, but you just have to make sure that the ribbon goes diagonally. Yeah. I feel cool. like I like the second way because it's more symmetric. Right, I like the second way too. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cuter. I'm going to definitely be practicing this. Thank you, Krista. Yeah.